Hello and welcome to this class that's called Breathe. And as you guessed it, it's all about breathing. <laughs> so today's class, um, you won't need a block or really anything. You just re will require comfy clothes, maybe put on a pair of fuzzy socks and a mat or just an open floor because we'll pretty much be staying in the same place but focusing on the breath so when we breathe we are these um, we are three dimensions so when you breathe I want you to focus on your breath going up and down left and right and also front and back and just see how much space you can take up and how much you can draw it back together because the more space we have I don't know about you, but I feel like the more breath that I have within my body, the more I can calm down, the more I can listen and um, feel the sensation of my breath. So let's get started. If you'd like to add a playlist to this, you're more than welcome to put it on. I will recommend a playlist in the comments below, but you can do what you want. So lying down, feet are going to be mat distance apart and allow the knees to fall in towards each other. And when this, this happens, you want to feel that the tailbone kind of curls up towards the heels just a little bit. You're not forcing it. The back of the neck is long on the spine and then we're just going to hug our ribs. So my right hand is on my left rib cage, my left hand is on my right. Just kind of adding a weight to there and lightly feeling that weight help pull them downwards. And this is where we feel. Take a breath into the count of four. Inhale, two, three, four. Pause for four counts, three, four. Exhale to the count of four, two, three, four, hold at the bottom for four counts, four, and begin again. So this breath will do for another three breaths. So inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, one more time, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four. And just resume a normal breath. If at any point in time it becomes uncomfortable for you to have your head on the ground, you're more than welcome to put a small pillow under it. You don't want the chin to be too congested towards the throat. You also don't want it to be looking up towards the ceiling. People who have um, a lot of tension headaches tend to have that when they lay down is that their chin looks up because the back of their neck muscles have shortened. Good. So just keep breathing here. Setting a small intention for yourself. It can be whatever you want it to be, but I'm going to set the one of breathing. And that as I breathe, I notice it. So just lay here and I'll give you a few cues and you can pick whichever one you connect with better. So on your inhale, maybe notice the sensation of your breath entering through your nose. 
And on your exhale, feeling the warmth of it, leave your nose. Another cue is feeling my ribs expand on my inhale. And contract on my exhale. Last one. This one, I'm going to listen to the sound of it. From here, go ahead. You can remove the hands from the ribs and walk your feet in to be hip distance apart. Bring the right knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers behind the right hamstring. From here, let's just start to straighten and bend this right leg. So we're awakening sensation in the hamstring the glutes, the low back, and I'm not straightening it to its max capacity. I'm just kind of saying, hello, wake up. And my left knee is just bent and stabilizing me here on the floor. And then from here, I'm going to straighten it to the extent that I'm comfortable with and just start to draw small ankle circles in one direction with the toes. Steering away from anything that triggers any discomfort, maybe make your circle smaller and go the other direction. Good, and then let's point our foot, flex our foot, point and flex. Point and flex. Your breath will just be a little normal here because we're not doing a big range of motion. And then go ahead and bend the knee. Allow your knees to fall to the left. I'm going to take off my mic. Good. And now in this position, Depending on how tight your low back is, you can put a pillow between your knees and stack your hands. Allow the head to fall to the floor or it's on a pillow. And on your inhale, pull the right hand across the chest and open up to the right. And on your exhale, bring the right hand back across the chest. Now, if this is something that's uncomfortable for your right shoulder, know that you can bring your right hand above your head on your inhale. And on your exhale, bring it back. So inhale, drawing the hand across the body, bending the elbow if you need to. And exhale, feel the ribs come together. So this is that breath work. We have two more of these. And pick a sensation you want to pay attention to. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, open up. And hold here. So either your arm is above your head. It can be goal post. So like your elbow bent. Or out to a T. And take your left hand to your ribs. It can be on the right rib. The center of your sternum. And let's take three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Now, my breath might be longer than yours, and that's okay. Take as many as you need to here, but focus on the slowing of it. Exhale. Last one. Really feel the ribs expand. And exhale. Good, roll back onto the left side. Go 
gather your knees back into your chest and let's do the other side. Right foot plants on the floor and start to straighten and bend your left leg. Being aware of where the head is, noticing if this hamstring feels different than the other. Moving in the moment is all about noticing what our body is telling us. Go ahead and keep it straight to the point that you're comfortable with and start to draw circles in one direction. If this is not possible, know that you can also use a towel or a strap because we want the top, this um, low back area, the area above our tailbone to be on the floor. Go ahead, draw circles in the other direction and then point the toes, flex the foot. Point the toes, flex the foot. Good. And then bend the knee, bring both knees into the chest and allow them to fall to the right. Putting a pillow between the knees if you need to. So for this, um, I like to bring the knees in as close as I can without rounding the back. And then on the inhale, opening up. Exhale, closing it off. Option to reach the arm above the head if needed. Exhale, close. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And hold it open here. Taking the right hand onto the ribs. Paying attention to the breath, the sensation that you need. So this twisting action helps release some tissues that connect our shoulder to our hips. And exhale. Draw the left hand back towards the right. Come back onto the back. And then in your own way. You can kind of roll to one side and push yourself up. Start to get a little bit more grounded into our cat cow series. So from here, bring the hands under the shoulders, but you can also use fists. Cat cow. So walk the knees in a little closer than you're used to and draw the head upwards, but don't let the chin lift. So the head comes up, but the chin slightly tucks. And on your inhale, pull the heart forward, feel the shoulder blades draw down towards the back and lift the chin, lift the tailbone, cow pose. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin in towards the chest, look at the kneecaps. Inhale, heart comes forward. Exhale, ribs draw in towards each other as if they were curtains and the head drops. Let's do three more of these. Inhale, move your spine. Exhale, don't overly lift your chin. Inhale. Exhale. Last one in. And exhale. Good. Walk your fist back towards your knees and then come up to this kneeling position. You have more sensitive knees, know that you can also fold up a blanket or a towel and put them underneath your knees. So from here, let's reach our hands forward and interlace the fingers. Keeping the tailbone lightly rooted downwards, light engagement, punch your fist forward without the head going with it. 
And then draw the shoulders back together. Good. Punch it forward. And bring it back. This one, punch it forward. And then lift your fist up overhead. This is where postural imbalances start to show up. So keep the ribs in. Keep reaching the fist upwards. And know that if you can't get it overhead, then you're punching it out to a certain angle. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, draw the ribs together and lightly turn to the right. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, twist to the left. We'll do this one more time each side. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, come back. Release the hands to the hips. Step the left foot forward. So make sure that everything is stacked here. Left knee over the left ankle. Right knee underneath the right hip. My arms are dangled by my side. I'm gently starting to roll them backwards. As you do this, make sure the front knee doesn't move and that you have a small movement of the ribs moving with you. Inhale, whoa. Exhale. Last one in. And gently allow the arms to come down. Bring the right hand to the mat or to a block underneath the right shoulder. And on your inhale, reach the left arm up. If this isn't possible, you can also bring the left hand to the left hip. Allow the right ear to fall to the right shoulder and breathe here in this limited position. So inhale, feel the ribs expand. Exhale, feel the ribs draw together. Two more breaths in. Exhale. Knowing whatever breath you choose, it's fine. You don't have to breathe through your nose. And uh, exhale. Good. Start to bring the left foot back, lower the left knee, and thread the left arm underneath of you. So what that looks like from this angle is the left hand reaches across. And you can always put your head on a pillow or a block. And my left palm is facing up. Option to walk the right fingers towards the front of the mat, away from your head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Choosing that sensation. Choosing to breathe. Try to pull those front ribs into your back ribs. And exhale. Bring the right hand back underneath of the right shoulder. Push the ground away. As we come back into that quadruped, let's cat cow three times. Inhale. Exhale. This time you can come up onto your fingertips as you scary cat. Maybe you shimmy the ribs this time. Inhale. Lower the wrist. Pull the heart forward. Exhale. Come up onto the fingertips. Tuck the chin. Shimmy the ribs. Last one, inhale, and exhale, good, this time you can curl the toes under as you walk the hands back and lift the torso, so we're in that kneeling position again, this time goal post the arms, so you should look like this right here, take a breath in, draw the ears backwards. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Feel the sensation across your diaphragm. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the right. One more each side. Inhale. Exhale to the left. Breathe in. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Step the right foot forward. Allow your arms to dangle by your side and untuck that foot. Feel a slight glute engagement here in the left glute. Keep this right knee stable as you roll the shoulders. Maybe this time they're feeling a little bit more groovier. And noticing what your breath is telling you right now. Good. And then let the arms dangle. Bring the left hand down to the mat or a block underneath the left shoulder. Inhale, open the chest to the right. Right hand can be on the right hip or reach it up towards the ceiling here. Exhale, keep those ribs away from that inner right thigh. Allow the left ear to fall to the left shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one in. And exhale. Right knee slides next to the left. Right hand threads underneath of you for that thread the needle movement. Right ear can come down to a block, a pillow, or the mat. Left fingertips can crawl away from you as you breathe here. Again, feeling the sensation. What is your body telling you in this moment? What is your breath saying? Most of the time it's slow down, <laughs> right? Allow me to breathe. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Walk the left hand back. Push the ground away and we're here in quadruped. We'll do one cat cow and at the exhale of our cat will lift up into a down dog. So take a breath in, pull the heart forward, slight lift of the chin. And on the exhale, pull those ribs and tuck the chin and then lift the knees off the floor as we lift the hips. So notice here that I am lifting from my pelvis and keeping the knees bent in this down dog and then walk the hands backwards towards the feet for happy squat because this feels great we'll be in happy squat for like eight breaths and i will say that when we do this the second time it might be nice to have a blanket nearby that you can kind of like use as a cushion between your torso and your thighs so We'll be here for eight breaths. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Your hands can be on something. Focus on that three-dimensional breath. Can you reach your spine long ways laterally in the X, Y, Z dimension? Breathe in. Last breath in. Accepting yourself. Exhale. And that comes with knowing that yoga doesn't mean straight legs. Inhale, engage the glutes, come up. Accepting your breath for what it is and know that it's going to change. Let's step the right foot forward and then turn to the left. So set your feet a little wider than hip distance apart. 
Toes turn slightly outwards as I add a small bend in the knee. So this is goddess. I'm not going into a deep goddess because today's class isn't about getting our work out. It's about breathing. <laughs> and I'm going to take my hands to my ribs and allow them to be the weight here. Close the eyes if you wish and start to breathe here. If you want to add a few neck stretches on, you can bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Feel your breath. Move in this new sensation. Head back to center. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Because when we did this last, gravity was working in a different direction. This time it's taking our diaphragm straight on in the Y axis. Inhale, head back to center. And then from here, we're moving into pyramid. Pyramid pose. Turn towards the right foot and align your feet so that they're on two separate railroad tracks. Both face forward, both my knees are bent. And on the exhale, I hinge from my hips and bring the hands to the floor, to a block, to a chair. The same thing, feel the spine be tall here. So I'm trying to pull my heart forward and not overly lift my chin as I keep this left glute on. Putting the body under different stresses and expanding our breath into it. Last breath in. Exhale, step your left foot forward, engage the glutes to help you come up to stand. Now let's do the other side. So we'll start with our happy squat. And this time you can grab a blanket or a pillow. I'm gonna grab this baby pillow here. You can also roll up like a towel or something that always feels good so soften the knees and sit back into the hips so notice that my knees don't go forward and I'm laying my ribs onto whatever I'm deciding to lay on you can also use a block but it's very invasive allow the this time the spine to kind of round not forcing it to round, but it's just kind of rounding as a result of gravity. When I look at my knees, they're over my feet, not caving in towards each other. And my hands are wherever they want to be. Work on breathing into your back body. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath in. Open your back. Exhale. Inhale. Push through your feet. Come up to stand. Step your right foot forward. Open up into goddess. Hug yourself. Gently grab each rib and pull them downwards. This time adding a few side bends. So drop the right shoulder closer to your right knee and not like being the leasing, leaning tower of Pisa, but just a small stretch. Push down through the outer edge of the left foot. Inhale, come up to stand. Exhale, left shoulder towards the left thigh. And as you do this, keep the front ribs restrained. Right shoulder to right thigh, because they're going to want to go forward. Your whole chest is going to want to lift. Try to keep them where they are. Center, exhale. Left shoulder to left thigh. Inhale up. 
Turn towards your left foot this time. Set up your feet. Ooh. Small bends in both your knees or a big bend. Slowly hinge forward, fingertips on the floor or a chair. Feel the back of the neck elongated in the spine tall. Inhale. Exhale. Feel as if each individual part of your rib cage can expand in multiple directions. Last breath in. Exhale. Step your right foot forward. Inhale. Right up to stand. Good. Whew. Let's settle into our hip series and we'll take a nice long Shavasana. So go ahead in your own way, come down to seated and set up. So we're in a zigzag position. So my right foot is going to be on top of the left thigh. And by that, I don't mean it's crossed on top. It's just the foot is touching the thigh. That's it. <laughs> I should be able to see the inside of my right leg and the outside of my left. And know that if you feel it in this left knee, just pull the ankle closer to you. Take a breath in. Grow tall through your spine. And on your exhale, small twist towards your right knee. Come on to the fingertips on each side of that right knee. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, bow your chest over that right knee, staying on your fingertips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow and surrender to your breath. Listen to it. What is it saying? Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one in. And exhale, fold. And you can stay on your hands, trying to keep a tall spine. You can lower to your elbows. And breathe here. There's two variations that I'm going to welcome you into should your body want it. <laughs> you can walk your elbows or your hands more towards the right for more of a twist. Or you can walk your hands more towards the left side of your knee for more of a hip stretch. You get to choose your path, whatever variation that you would like. We'll be here for five breaths. Can you breathe? Can you find more space for it? What we don't realize as we move throughout our daily tasks is that things like the hips connect to our diaphragm and impact the way we breathe. On your inhale, walk your hands back in towards you wherever you are. And we'll switch. So gently unwind and place your left foot, the bottom of it, on top of that right thigh. Adjust your right foot as needed. Take a breath in, grow tall. Exhale to the left knee, fingertips wide. Take a breath in. Exhale, draw the low belly in as you fold over the left knee. Inhale, push up. Remember to try to stay tall. I'm not trying to round my spine downward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, push away. Exhale. Breathe in. 
This one will fold, exhale. Choose your journey, whether you go to the left for a twist or to the right for a hip stretch. I'm never one to say no for a hip stretch. Breathe in. And breathe out. Can you expand? Can you find room? Breathe in. Breathe out. Draw the ears back. And inhale, come all the way back up. And we'll make our way into Shavasana. Allow the knees to maybe come into the chest as you lower onto your back. You can place the feet down or let them be long. Palms face up away from the body. If this causes discomfort in the low back, you can keep the knees bent and place something under them. Or as we began class, feet wide, knees together, breathe in. And breathe out. And if it feels comfortable, you can keep your hands on your ribs. The breath is all encompassing. It was <laughs> it's what allows us to exist. to keep moving forward. You can stay here for as long as you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna ask you start to wiggle your fingers and toes, turning the head left and right. In your own way, draw the left knee into the chest, followed by the right. This time you can hug your shins or your hamstrings and go ahead, however you need to, come up to seated. Hands come to heart center. Lightly press your palms together to acknowledge the strength from front to back, from your hands to your shoulders, the small little circle. Give yourself a little bit of appreciation for showing up for yourself and for also staying, knowing that it was important for you today to breathe. May you carry this breath into the rest of your day. Thank you for joining me.